what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A teenager who attends Beaumont High School in Southern California recently discovered that her choice of undergarments were subject to her teacher's approval. Beaumont High School is out of line, Remy Altoona wrote on Twitter. Now they want to dress code for not wearing a bra. My underwear is none of their business. She's got a little gangster. Remy had gone most of the day in her black bodysuit and baggy jeans without anybody commenting. Now, teachers and security personnel usually are on standby. They're trying to check it out. They're watching. They're lurking, trying to make sure that the students are on code. So she went through most of the day with no problem. Then she goes to the principal's office to get a paper sign. And the principal pulled her to the side and said, hey, I um, think you need to put a jacket on. Uh, your shirt's too low. Now, Remy didn't like that. She said that the teacher, after the teacher said that her uh, shirt was cut too low, that she had to wear a bra. She needed to put on a bra. And she said that uh, the bad talking and people commenting, saying bad things were going to start and that the assistant principal was basically indicating that she was trying to protect her. But she didn't feel like being protected. Now, what does the rules and regulations say? What does it say? What does the rules say? I'm glad you asked. The Beaumont High School dress code does not specifically say anything about bras, but it does say something about shirts. Here's what it says. Tops must cover all parts of undergarments and shall not be cut low or revealing. That's what it says. Now, Remy says that she didn't wear a bra because of the way her shirt, uh, the, the bodysuit that she had on was cut. She said if she wore a bra, then she would have been off cold. Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Normally, I'm with the kids on this one. Because I think that these schools, they do too much reaching. They all in your hair, all in your face, all up in your drawers. Some of them literally in your drawers. Typically, I'm with the youngsters on this one. But not this one. To be straight up, I don't really see a whole lot wrong with what she has on. I see women, young ladies wearing that type of stuff all the time. But in a school setting, I can see where that might be a problem, especially if she don't have a bra on and she got a little stuff hanging out. You know, they poking out. I can understand that. In a bar setting, she good. Uh, you know, walking around the house, it's good. Uh, well, you know, let me back up. Walking around the house with her and, well, she's a kid, so I was about to say her man, but just walking around the house by herself or whatever, maybe around her sisters, maybe she's all right. But no, nah, not even, not around, not around men and not around boys, no. Nah. Um, Come on, man. Let's, let's let's get back, man. Let's get back to it, man. Y'all know what's what's appropriate and what's not. People have just been pushing the envelope and and just going and going and going and just trying to see how far they can go. And I know a lot of people say, well, you know, people dress worse than that. I've seen people dress worse than that in the club. Yeah, you're right. But just because somebody dressed like that doesn't mean that it's appropriate. I've seen them too. I've seen women in cat suits in the club that just a few years ago that's you would automatically look at it and say that's a prostitute and now uh you know that's what they're doing now that's the thing you know a lot of them doing it the school i think got it right on this one this 
is clearly not school appropriate. This is clearly not a school appropriate outfit. I would say that the school got it right, but they're still going to have to deal with a lot of flack from the parents and, and other people. I think that a lot of times people know that they're pushing the envelope, but they do it anyway because they want to be able to run to social media and get that attention fixed. And this seems like to me that that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to get some attention. And she got it. I'm with the school on this one. I think that Remy is, she, you know, you can tell she's proud of her breast, you know. I mean, they're fairly new. So she's proud of them. She wants to, she wants to show them off, you know. And... She ain't trying to hear anything that anybody else is saying. She's really not trying to hear anything because she feels like she's right. I look at it like this. This is real simple. You can play this out very simple. Now, here's the thing also, before I say this, say that. Here's the thing. These rules, this dress code, it's not really to... Um, it's not really to antagonize anybody. It's really to protect all the students. It's not singling out one person. It's really to protect all the students from inappropriate behavior and comments that are, that are not conducive to a learning environment, not conducive to a studying or even a social environment like school. It's really not. So it, it is a distraction. Let's keep it real. And I know you got those people that say, well, you ain't got to look. Who told you to look? You know, I can wear what I want to wear. You know, all oh, that's cool till you see the dude come through with his spandex on and his sausage sticking all out and everything and hanging. And everybody say, hey, you need to do something about that. You, need to, you know, you need to do something about that. So I, I can dig it. I can dig it. I think the school got it right. It's real simple, man. You... Implement a dress code. You make sure that the students understand the dress code and then you enforce the dress code. It's that simple. Here's another thought. School uniforms for all students, public schools, and I would even say private schools. That would cut down on a whole lot of teasing bullying because some kids can't afford it, can't afford the nice, nicer shoes or nice dress or pants or shirt, designer stuff, whatever. It would cut back on a whole lot of mess. So a universal dress code uniforms for everybody. That's what I believe in. I think that would be, that would be good. If, what we, if we would have had that during my days in, in high school, I wouldn't have had to put hands on Frank twice <laughs> you know for teasing me about my clothes man you know that wasn't right man he wasn't right but yeah i think that's a good look uniform school uniform for everybody but even then you're gonna have somebody who's gonna have a problem with it because you got those people who just love bucking the system and then you got those people who don't like anybody telling them what they can and cannot wear. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.